Hey everyone, this is Ariana Walker here from the CK. Just thought I'd give you another update and let you know how we're getting on. If you watched our last one or read about it, then you'll know that our residents have all gone home. They went home a couple of weeks ago. We had planned a kitchen refurb in the Mercy home and decided to pull that forward due to the whole coronavirus situation. And so they've all been home a couple of weeks now. And amazingly, we've been able to maintain as much of the program and, and keep it as intact as possible. And so our staff team have been uh, teching up and getting used to doing Zooms and FaceTimes and all sorts. So the residents are still having worship together. They're still being able to have Bible reading and class together. And in the afternoons, they're still getting their one-to-one -one sessions via FaceTime. So our team have been amazing. And if you're one of our residents, we want to just tell you how proud we are of you. If you're watching this right now, we are so impressed with your attitude, with the way you're supporting each other, with the way you're really plugging in and digging deep into the things of God. Uh, even within your own home situation when you when you thought you'd going to be in the mercy home and now you are back home and yet you are doing so well so we are praying for you and we're really proud of you so keep going we're also able to still deliver our other services including keys to freedom uh, we started a new keys to freedom online t uh, group today uh, and, and it will be running for the next eight weeks uh, we had 50 people sign up to that already. They were able to get hold of the Keys to Freedom books. And the way that works is uh, you have the Keys to Freedom workbook, you have a pen, a Bible, the Holy Spirit, 20 minutes a day, five days a week by yourself, uh, which shouldn't be too difficult if you can rid of the kids for a little while. And you just plug in, it's devotional style. Uh, and then the, the, the group really is just there to help you process if you've got questions or need some support or encouragement or prayer. And and that's all done via email. No one else knows that you're on that email group. It goes directly to our team and they'll be able to respond to you uh, without anyone else knowing uh, who you are. So it's done anonymously, but that, that offer and that support is available. We are going to start another group in a couple of weeks time. So if you'd like to be part of that one and you've missed this one that we already started, then you can still order Keys to Freedom uh, on our website. We are still able to get them out to you, not as frequently, but we are still able to do that for now. So, so get in on that if you want to be involved. Uh, we're also calling around our supporters uh, in general and just offering them prayer support and encouragement uh, and just a, a sense of we're here for you. We want to go the distance with you. And if you are one of our treasure builders, one of our regular givers who, who has, who's been giving to us regularly every month, I just want to just take this opportunity to just say a huge thank you. I don't think I ever realized how important that monthly income was going to be to us. You know, we lost 40% of our uh, projected income o almost overnight with all the events and everything being cancelled and what we're left with is you our treasure builders you have uh, become such a stable uh, steady uh, just foundation for us and I want to thank you for that uh, and thank you for your faithfulness and um, we're calling round not to ask you for more money we're calling round to thank you and to encourage you to pray with you to uh, just connect with you and see how you're doing uh, we had a prayer meeting this morning actually on zoom with our staff team where we specifically prayed for all of our treasure builders uh, some of the ones that our team have been speaking to we had specific prayer requests from so we were able to pray into that uh, and our business leaders, uh, the, the partners who uh, are supporters, who are, are running businesses. I've personally spoken to a, a good number of them over the last week or so and, and had specific prayer requests from them. And so we were able this morning to just really pray into that, to intercede. We heard from God. He had some incredible scriptures and words of encouragement for us that we will be passing on to the relevant people. So we are here. We are still here. We don't believe that our mission has in any way, shape or form been diluted. We are still here to see hope restored and lives transformed.
Uh, it just looks a little different than it did a couple of months ago, but we're not going anywhere. We are fully committed to connecting with as many people as we can to speak hope and worth and value uh, and to point them to Jesus, especially in this time. We are well equipped and called by God as a ministry to assist people and come alongside people in times of adversity and in times of challenge to remind them of the tools that God has given us to be able to dig deep and dig into Jesus to be able to connect with him to be able to draw strength in times when our own strength fails to be able to to raise our faith level in times when fierce level seems to be so high so we are committed to staying present, to staying engaged. If you want to get in touch with us, please just email, uh, go through social media, whichever way you can get in touch with us. We are here for you. We're in it. We're going the distance uh, and we look forward to hearing from you soon. Sending you lots of love and we'll be in touch again, no doubt. Bye-bye.